Ellis Hennigan and Jim Pinkerton, good morning to both of you. Good morning. Well, what do you think, Michael Jackson, do you think he's going, uh, do you think Dr. Conrad Murray, Jim, is uh, going away? You know, I, I have to tell you, my own view, I am mystified why the state of, city of Los Angeles chose to prosecute this case at all. Really? I, mean, I, I really don't see the issue here. I mean, You Michael, think maybe medical malpractice? But it might be, it might be. Yeah, so sue the guy. You certainly can't say that Michael Jackson behaved as a responsible patient, <laughs> right? I mean, I mean, I'm convinced from the evidence that I've read that this guy's a rotten doctor. I mean, mm -hmm. I would, I would not want him treating me. I wouldn't. Uh, Unless want you him, like poker fall. Uh, all right, exactly. I wouldn't even want him treating Jim. I mean, I, I, I don't oh, think. Wow, he, you really don't like him. <laughs> I mean, I don't think the guy's a good doctor. You know, but Michael Jackson is not a good patient. I mean, let's be and honest. There's clearly a line, right? I mean, there is a whole area that's 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 makes you a bad doctor or malpractice. Doctor, there is some point, and I guess we we accept this conceptually, right? There is some point that your neglect or abuse or, or, or wild incompetence rises to the level of criminality. If you're if you're a surgeon and you show up drunk in the in the operating room, you know maybe you should be charged criminally. I, I don't know that this guy has crossed the line, but I mean there is at some point there. There's a line, isn't there?